na nila kagad yung siguro pang magic, magic number is 10 wins. Oh. Gusto na nila i-secure kagad yan. That's right. Gusto oh. nila makarating kagad dun oh. para wala na sila masyadong isipin. Isipin pa, <laughs> oo. Nahirap pa yung mga triple tie na yan eh. Oo, oh. yeah. oh. that's right. Gonna be in the best position possible. Yung incentives, no? Yeah. Um, twice to beat. Twice to oh. beat, that's right. Second half is here. Laban ng San Beda contra LPU will begin with a miss coming from Emman Tagle. Okay, coach. Dikitan tayo dito. One point game so far. Your expectations mula sa magkabi ng panig natin. Simulan natin dun sa ating leading team, the San Beda Red Lions. Yes, uh, dito, ano eh, they're using their bench well. Kailangan lang mag-respond yung bench mo. Kailangan din gamitin yung mga tatapos, yung mga closer. Kailangan may mga kumpiyansa yan. Yung mga tatapos ng laro, hindi pwedeng puro role players. Pero ito nakakagol tong LPU. Puro mm -hmm. role player, nandun pa rin sa loob. Oo oh, nga, at si Panelo. Pailig, Panelo. And this guy. Palingayan. Uh, Palingayan, di ba? Oh, who finished that uh, second quarter for LPU. Omar Gordon, missing off the bank. Vince Villegas will join this crew. This is an interesting lineup for Coach Gilbert Malabanan. What a, I'd say, a risky move. But he is confident that his players can deliver. Jumel Puno now. Surveys, cross court. This will give the key guys for LPU more time to rest. You can from the corner. Villegas pulls it down. And Villegas, Didiscarte, Palingayan, covered by Payosing. Palik sila kay Renz. The lone solid offensive threat on the floor for LPU. Sabi ni Palingayan, may tira ko pero wala lang doon. Villegas, follow up, wala pa rin. Panelo will try, Panelo will bend it home. Umabagsak lang ang bola sa LPU sa kamay nila, di ba? Parang walang effort eh. Pero makita mo minsan, di ba? Hindi mo masabing talbol ng bola eh. Eh, yan namang hugot ni Coach Gilbert. Malabana, tingin mo yung line-up. Diba to, ha? This is a rare oh. combination. Almost an experiment for Coach Gilbert here. Estacio. <laughs> All air from straight away. Dahil, Coach, yung sabi ko yan, alam natin kung gano'ng ka-importante ang first few minutes ng third quarter sa isang laban. Yes, o. Oh, eto, nakakagulat eh. Kasi, ginamit niya, pero di naman kamang Uh, ewan ko kung part ng, ng uh, rotation to. Siguro uh, si Villegas uh, lang. Siguro nagulat din yung San Pedro rito sa mga kaharap nila. Wala sila Barba, yeah. Unanan, Aviles. Oh, by the way, abante na po dito ang uh, LPU. Villegas could not extend it. Ball sailing out. It stays with LPU. Now let's go to Christine. Meron siyang hatid na balita sa atin mula sa side at sa dugout ng mga pirata. Go ahead, Christine. Learn to be able to stand your ground against their attackers. Yan ang paalala ni Coach Yuri Escueta mula sa dugout ng San Beda Red Lions as he also gave emphasis on speed lalo na sa kanilang mga big mans dahil nababagalan pa daw siya sa kanilang pace sa pagdating sa kanilang opensa at ito ang gusto niya pang makita. An update on Nigel Gonzalez, their medical coach and coaching staff decided that he'll have to sit this game out dahil currently ay namamaga pa po ang bridge ng kanyang ilong ng tamaan. This is also not the first time for Nigel dahil na Operahan na po ang kanyang ilong from a harsh contact also from playing basketball when he was a junior. Kaya medyo delicate na na po talaga ito. Currently, their medical staff are doing the best that they can to manage the bleeding and the pain and letting him rest and recover. Lalo na the, the last time that we asked Nigel ay medyo nahihilo para po siya. Yan muna ang balita mula sa San Beda. Balik sa inyo. Thank you so much, Christine. Correction, he came from the dugout of the San Beda Red Lions. And uh, Angel Gonzalez, we hope he can come back, pero kung hindi na kaya, syempre, huwag niya ipukwera sa ito. You know, we're thinking long-term alongside the coaching staff of the Red Lions. Bismarck Lina coming up short, but that's a foul on uh, Jonathan Daileg. And this is gonna be key now for San Beda, who is struggling on the floor against this LPU team. And that lineup actually bought some time for the starters. Nakabawas ng mileage oh. sa starting five ni Coach 
Gilbert. Tonto ka si Coach Gilbert. Nakita mo ilang points din yun. So ngayon, balik na yung key players ng LPU. In Barba, Cunanan, Bravo, Versosa. Nandiyan pa rin si Renz Villegas. Brian Zahonia. Estacio. They go to the post. Bismarck will back down. Lina is doubled. The swing to Estacio. No, Sonkuya collecting the offensive board. But Vines really controlling the glass here. Bismarck feasting and feasting down low. Pinawer. Oo, oh, pag nakapitan niya yung bola. Ganda siya, ganda niya protektahan yung bola. So may bomba na yan. If you see a 6'5", 6'6", Bismarck Lina running into you like that, kaunti na lang ang magagawa mo. You cannot lose contact eh. when you're playing against Bismarck Lina. Maano siya, malaking bata, magandang pwesto, saka magandang mag-finish, lalong-lalo na sa free throw ngayon. Pasok. He completes the three-point play to give us another deadlock in this game. Villegas. Pangatlong tabla natin to sa laban natin. Kunanan! Wala. And rebound. Tracked down by Puno. Quickly to Sahonia. Here's Brian. Songkuya. Ganda ng depensa niya. Ano to? Oh! Umapak lang sa linya. Itong si Tony Ostasio. Del Sosa. So, LPU calls for, or no, at least we call a timeout on the floor. Almost halfway through sa ating uh, third quarter. And that's why he is there. Kaya naman itong EACA, they transferred into a zone. Ayun naman! Drains the triple! Unang punto sa laban natin para kay Lawrence Panguban. Make the most out of it. Kasi hindi mo alam kung kailan ka ulit gagamitin. Hindi mo alam kung kailan mag-pong-pong mo ulit yung mga kasama mo, di ba? That's right. So, kailangan. Ito na naman. Ayos! Back to the coverage. Cutie cam naman. Balik cutie cam tayo. Cutie naman talaga. Napapa-smile sila sa tie and score. Dapat makalabit sila na, uy! Tie. Nothing to worry. That's right. So, wala pang kabado. Wala sa mga fans na ganagyan. Yan! Turo nyo pag nandun kayo on screen. There you go. Thank you for watching and attending our game. Napakaganda ang laban ng LPU kontra San Beda. This is a clash that we were anticipating. Inspired sila. Inspired sila. Special itong kopunan ng ano, LPU, pero itong beda, ano lang, trabaho lang. So, kita mo yung itsura ni ano, Coach ni Bismarck, no? Oo. Uh -huh. Walang arte-arte, basta serious, serious type of guy. Kahit anong contact na matanggap uh -huh. niya, na Coach. Uh -huh. Whether end one or miss, pareho lang, uh -huh. facial reaction. So, 35 apiece. Dito sa ating third quarter, a low-scoring game. But a very competitive one, defensive-oriented. Ato Barba, pinilit yun ni Ato. Laki na nang humahabol kay Ato Barba, si ano na, Puno. Ah, Brian Sahonia. Got the step on J.M. Bravo in transition. Laki nung hakbang niya dun, Coach. Kailangan talaga nakastay low ka dyan pag yung gulgo niya pag yung saho niya. Hindi ka pwede nakastay high or nakastraight leg. Kailangan lateral. Takot naman talaga sa parang makilang ng konti. So saho niya will nail the first free throw here. Brian Saho niya has seven points so far. Two players in double figures already for San Beda. Yan si Yuken Andrada at si Bismarck Lina with ten apiece. Sahonia goes two for two. Perfect from the line. 37-35. Red Lions are back in front. 
matindi na itong katapat ni Ato Barba dito. John Elpo, John Elpo, no? Oh, it's another offensive foul called against Versosa. Ito, off the screen. Ay, he moved towards Jumel Puno. Oh, dapat hindi mo abulin. Established position lang. Let the, your offensive player bring the guy to you. Huwag mo nga habulin. Ipituhan talaga ng referee. So, Puno. Di discarte. Uy! Counter offensive foul on the point guard, Penny Estacio. Offensive foul number zero. Inati the coach. LPU, though, has to be careful because the coach is on penalty. Yeah, sometimes if you miss it, you miss it. Yeah. Kung nanghabulin. Ito naman si Beda, preserving their fouls, only two so far. Surveys, Aviles, Peña Fiel, to JM, Kunana. Sa dumalakas para kay Greg Kunana. Hasn't been their day at the half court. Talking about LPU. Sahonya, Sonkuya, Jomel will choose to attack. Oh, that's good, D. By Bravo. Oh, they counted. And the foul for Jomel Puno. Casual to si Bravo. <laughs> United, the coach. JM got hit in the face. Unsure where the contact was. Ito, mas magandang angulo to. On the part of uh, Puno, I think yung pag-fold ng left arm niya, pataas eh, no coach? Oo, ano yan eh, part ng uh, locomotor skills mo yan eh. Gumagalaw yung arm swing, di ba? Yeah. You run, kailangan gumagalaw talaga yung arm. So, bahala na referee mag-distinguish dyan kung paano. Ah, uh, okay. It looked worse on the slow mo, yung uh, swing ng elbow. Because in real time, it looked like it was upwards, pero nung pinakita natin na slow mo. Just a slight extension. Uh, uh. Uh. So, tignan natin kung ano magiging uh, tawag ng ating opisyalis. Masyadong close para uh. tawagan. Hirap talaga pag moving. Pare pare parehong gumagalaw ang, dipi, ang stance. Uh, ang, yeah. So, para dito sa LPU, kasi kanina si Renz Villegas nung pa-drive. Oo, oh, tinamaan din siya. Tinamaan ano? si Nigel, Nigel. Pero solid yung impact kay yes. Nigel. No? Nagdugo yung uh, inong ni Nigel. You know, that was the cause of it. But when they reviewed, they upgraded that to an unsportsmanlike Unsport. foul. Tapos yun, coach, retroactive call yun. Dahil walang initial call eh. Oh. Uh, walang pito, binalikan lang nila sa kanila itinawag yung unsportsmanlike fact. We'll see if this will be the case here. Yeah. Okay, so they call the unsportsmanlike foul. So may tawag. Meron. Uh, narinig natin. But the basket counts. Mm -hmm. May continuation na ibibigay para dito kay Jomel Puno. 
Tapos may tawag rin kay ano, oh, Hans Paul. Yeah. Kay Jomel Puno. Oh, this is our officials. Dati kasi yan, who caused the contact eh. Uh, uh. Meron dati yun, ganun. Meron din diameter ng offensive player na he can move. Uh, uh, so, uh, pag gumagalaw, meron din namang uh, parameters ang uh, defensive player kung hanggang saan ka. As long as you don't impede. Uh -huh. hindi, hindi mo hinarangan. Towards the basket yan, walang pito yan. Uh, so si Jomel Puno yung tatawagan dito. Ng unsportsmanlike foul. So tatawagan yung slight extension niya dun sa elbow on his way to the basket. Foul on number 26, J.M. Bravo. That's his third personal foul. Basket count for Jomel Puno. Uh, unsportsmanlike foul on number one, Jomel Puno. Uh, Under criteria number one, come up with an opponent and not legitimately attempting to direct play with the ball. Two free throws for J.M. Bravo. Okay. So... Emma Tagler, replacing Ben and Sasha. Okay. So two free throws, unfortunately like foul, plus possession para dito sa LPU. Yes. So hindi na ba nila ibibigay ang continuation para kay Jamel? Oo, oh, yun ang uh, inaano niya. Tinatanong niya sa referee ni Jomel. Eh. Dapat end one yun. Eh. Uh, so bravo. Connects on the first. J.M. Bravo now with six points. This is his first trip to the free throw line today. Perfect from the line. Ay, eh, ito na, ibibigay yung uh, continuation dito kay Jomel. Uh, Okay lang. Okay lang sa akin yun. Kasi meron naman talagang contact dun eh sa babae. Yeah. Pero yung beauty ng re replay, yan, nabawasan yung human error din. Siyempre sa tagal ng liga, siyempre mga referees, meron din minsan miss call. Uh, diba? yeah. So, Puno connects on the free throw. 40-37. Bravo for three. Doesn't get the bounce, and Lina collects the board. So, tuloy ang action sa ating third quarter. It's a three-point game, John and Bruno. That one rattles in and out. LPU, they have the lead briefly. 33-32. Now they're down by three. And the field has it. Ben Kunana. Barba is covered by Puno. Barba, Aviles from 15. No. Ball was tapped towards the direction of Peña Fiel, pero hindi na nakaposisyon doon si Simon. Yes, good, good shot. Talagang miss lang. Oo. Kaya dapat both teams kailangan pag-aralan din nila yung klase ng tawagan eh. Uh -huh. Makapal, manipis. Ngayon, lalo na ngayon, Mike Pitt sa moving screens. Yeah. So, iwas ka na. That's true, coach. As a player, you have to take advantage of that. Oh, hindi ka adjust ang referee sa'yo, sa, sa players. Sa hole niya, one dribble in. Bravo is fouled on the catch. This is going to be against Menard Songkuya. You can address the re-entering for Songkuya. Villegas is also back in for LPU. Rebound, yeah. Atama, si JM Bravo. Ina soksi kali mak ni Coach Yuri di sini, hoping baka kemama saya selepas. This is RC Kalimag. Checking for the first time, his first minutes today. Oh, ato denied by Jomel Puno. Talagang hinahabot talaga sa ni, ni Puno eh. Talagang matangkad, mahaba. Kita mo to, ha? Those long arms able to reach for that ball. Yan, malinis yun. Ah. Tsaka nabangan na niya, Coach, oh. He's really smothering Atobar, but defensively. 
Reyes Villegas, this guy, is someone they need to score already. Aviles, wayward on the attempt. Ito na si Jumel Puno. Tagle will wait. Under three minutes left in our third quarter. Lima, down the middle. Tira na tira para kay, Bis, uh, para kay RC. And that's a foul on Bismarck Lina. Yan, hawakan ang hawakan. Nor, nor, ano yan sa, man, sa ilalim. Talagang mahigpit ng tawagan niya. Kaya that's all things kailangan mag-ingat ito mga tigman natin. Eight times. Dami nangyari sa third quarter natin. Time out muna tayo ko, Jerry. Cheta. Let's see if they'll try to establish Liwag. Enon pulls up for three. Alan Liwag. What a pass to Ancheta. And Ancheta is able to score. And gives the lead back to Benilde. Miscommunication on the San Beto defense. Capitalized now. Ito yung nagagawa ni Alan Liwag. Attorney Jonas about Chan from San Beda University. I don't know. Watching here at the VIP box. Ah, siyempre, nandito rin si Sir Tax Castellano. Man, come representative naman ng Benilde. Right behind him, ayun, nakaturo na. Si Father Virgilio. Paredes, Junior OAR from San Sebastian. Tony Jonas, by the way, is from San Beda. So, nakatapos silang ng Mancom meeting. Siyempre, diretso pa nanood. Ang ating mga Mancom reps. Masasaya sila. Masasaya. Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo from EAC. This team will be in action in our second game. As they square off against the Mapua Cardinals. Ito si Genesis Aviles at the free throw line. It has turned out to be a highly competitive matchup, a low-scoring affair. Coach, only a combined 14 points for both of these teams in the third quarter. Oh, talagang makita mo. Ito mga, maraming mga bagay pa rin na talagang inaasahan ako na gustong makita nitong itong patapos nitong third quarter. Kasi pagdating sa fourth, ano na yan eh, it's either imanage si Lynn Laro, kung malaki laman, kung kung dikit, dyan. You need the unpinakamatinding chemistry kung sino talagang tatapos, sino yung pinakamang panlaban yung ibababa dyan sa laro. That's right. Tagle na libre. Lost to Nanan. And Tagle takes advantage. Back to a four-point lead. For San Pedro, we are approaching the final two of the third quarter. Ito, Barba, hand in his face. Nothing there. Barba still could not buy a bucket. Kalimag! Well, Barba collects the board. Ato Barba now, zero out of nine from the field. Oh, JM! Got hit on his way up, so free throw is coming up here for JM Bravo. Good that recognition, young And JM Bravo, again, every chance they get they run. Oh. Talking about the Pirates, Coach. Siyempre, Coach Gilbert, wala ba na niya na style ng laro niya, naglalas. Yan. Gilbert, talagang rat-rat. Super rat-rat. Pero para sa ibang school dito sa NC, naglaro yan si... <laughs> sa college, ha? Sa oh, college. Sa college, oh. Perpetual. Perpetual. No, perpetual si Coach Gilbert. Sometimes, kahit pa paano, may semblance yung laro mo sa gusto mong ah. laruin ng team mo, eh. Hmm. Oo. Oh. Pero nakagulat ito si, ba, si, ano, si Bravo, mabilis pa na tumakbo. Oo. At saka yung nakakatuwa kay JM, pagbalik niya sa lineup, kasi kinwento niya sa amin na nagpa-second opinion siya, and then when he learned that he doesn't have a fracture, nag-proceed na agad siya sa rehab. It was quite, quite the process for him. Pero pagbalik niya, previously, 100% agad, go, all, all out, go hard agad si JM Bravo. Oh, baka yun lang talaga din ang hinahanap niya. Assurance kami from the doctor. Na okay yung lower back niya. Miguel! Apuno! 
skying for that putback. Kaya sa puno talaga, no? Hindi niya kailangan hanapin mo sa opensa. Talaga bigla na lang sul-sulpot, eh. Hindi na minili ng trabaho. Kahit matapat sa kanya si Barba, the number one scorer na KC. Hindi siya nagpa-back down. That's right. Good job na ganda yun, eh. Just in that one off the glass. We want to see more of that coming kay Tylek. Hindi pwede patambay-tambay ka lang sa kanto. Just sa mga corners yan. Ganap dito ng panggulat si Coach Gilbert. They swing it outside. Kalimag! Lumabas! Oo, dalawang attempt na yun. Kami kay Kalimag. Tylek. Montano pulls the trigger. Montano knocks it down. He ties it up at 44 apiece. Legit shooter, yan. Montano. Andrada. Ooh, couldn't answer. Montano. Umamin. Si Gail Montano. So, 44 all. This will mean free throws for San Beda. Look at this, Jonathan Dailek off the hop and calmly kissing that one off the window and then Kyle Montano with the confidence to shoot it outside. He now has 10 points in the game. First guy to reach double figures for LPU. Oh, what is that? One of the key players. Coach Gilbert. This is turning out to be a problem for San Beda, Coach. Itong, si, itong free throw shooting nila. They're only 6 out of 13. Okay, so pag ganito mga close game, very important yung mga free throws. You yeah. have to make it. Correct. Si Elzo, 0 out of 2. Kalima gets the offensive board. Masado lang, masikip sa ilalim. And it goes the other way. Ganda na kuha ni Kalimag doon. Hindi niya lang na-finish sa mga kantama. So, Joe Salzo will be replaced by Maynard Songkuya. The rest are pretty much the same for both sides. Benz Villegas. Barba, by the way, not on the floor for LPU. Bravo from straight away. No, Dailig almost getting it. Puno. Comes away with the board. They're calling it San Beda basketball. Oi, what did I say? Did I walk as a coach? Gil Bertrand, the most famous ever. Sa kabila. Oh, the sa hash mark. Coach is mark. To my wit, sir. The coach is the hustle of Jamel Puno. That was. A hard show by Montano. Oh, screen and say. Oh. Say, say, be your bola. Ito mo nakuhi na si Joe Melton eh. You can! Couldn't make it up the horn. And after three quarters, we go back to square one. 44 all. Fourth quarter. Coming up to decide this one. What can you